Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Arco Tahoe Backs. Uh, Arco, uh, it was once a long time ago, the one of the preferred decks of cards used by professional magicians. Uh, Arco has since been taken over by the United States Playing Card Company and they release all of their decks through them, of course. This is the Tahoe back. So sometimes you could have an Arco deck and the back would look different or the tuckies would look different. And it's available in both an antique red and a dark blue. Now, Dan and Dave, they're the ones that resurrected this uh, design. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at danandave.com. They are, as you can see, a limited number uh, of 2,500 sets in each color. Now, the tuck case on the front of this just says Tahoe. It says number 84, poker, playing cards. And the reason why it would say number 84 is because sometimes on the UPC, uh, they would end in that number. And so just like the writer backs end in 808, because the end of their UPC ends in 808. The side here says li resilient linen finish, which is just code for air cushion. <laughs> and on this side, it says cartouche club back, okay? So that is how they identify this design, okay? This is the cartouche club back, all right? The top probably said Tahoe there underneath this uh, original tuck seal. And then the bottom has some ad copy about the United States Playing Card Company. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. So as I said, these were printed by the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their infamous retail stock. Retail stock is thinner, thinner than B stock, thinner than casino stock. So it's much more uh, flexible. They also have a modern cut and air cushion finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stop, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. So here's a close-up look at the Cartouche Club Back, the Tahoe cards. As you can see, it's very feathery, very uh, organic shapes, lots of circles and kind of curved edges. It's not as hard or cut uh, as some other more crisp looking decks. This is more of an organic feel, uh, but still very pretty. Um, this used to be a Connoisseur's vintage playing card set, and uh, Dan and Dave are releasing this as a facsimile. So uh, you could actually go back and find vintage playing cards that looked exactly like this from a long time ago. They would probably cost you a lot of money. These decks have probably been out of print since 1987, uh, probably when the United States Playing Card Company bought the Chicago printing press that used to make uh, the Tahoe cards and so they've kind of been out of uh, print, out of run ever since then. With this deck you're going to get two gaffs. You're going to get a double backer that is both the uh, dark blue on both sides and you're going to get a double backer that is dark blue on one side and antique red on the other. Pretty cool if you wanted to do a color changing deck routine. Also with this deck you're going to get two full size Arco Jokers. Uh, it's just the Jester and the Jester's cap and costume and it says plastic coated across the top of his hat. This is your Tahoe Ace of Spades. It's a big fat um, pip there in the center that says Tahoe, United States Playing Card Company, and made in the USA. All your pips and indice cards should be recognizable and completely standard. Uh, you're not gonna see any surprises as far as color or pip uh, placement. Your court cards are gonna have more of that vintage look because we're trying to do a throwback to a deck of cards that was printed a long time ago. Uh, they use more of the classic faces and classic colors. Well, that is it for the Arco deck from Dan and Dave. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can head on down to danandave.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, I can't stop you. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy.